Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So first of all, thank you very much for those who wished me um, better health. Um, I do feel a little bit better than yesterday, uh, but my voice is still a little bit raspy, so I do apologize for that as well. And again, um, this video will encompass the uh, Chapter 1 side quest for IDA Part 3. Now in this chapter, there aren't any uh, boss battles or anything like that. Uh, you do get to use his Mima uh, as a single uh, character to fight a small mob. And you can see her um, you know, first level move. So for those who didn't pull her, including myself unfortunately, uh, you get to at least experience what it's like to have her on your team. Anyways, like most of my story uh, videos, I'm just going to summarize a few thoughts and then I'll let you watch the rest of the video. So you can see here um, that we're having a recap of IDA Part 1 as well as Part 2. So again, uh, for those who don't, who don't remember, um, if you eat uh, one of those forbidden apples, you enter a dream world where uh, basically, you know, you're trapped inside um, to explore your desires and you don't want to necessarily leave the dream world. Remember in IDA Part 1, Saki first entered, and in IDA Part 2, Mayu uh, entered. And of course, uh, uh, Claude and Iska and the rest of the IDA team did save them. And now, uh, there's a third case. And his Mina, which is obviously the featured banner and the newest uh, OP character, is introduced to us in this story and chapter as well. Man, she is waifu material. And I know a lot of you are um, saving or have tried many, many stones to pull her. So again, uh, good luck uh, in getting her. And I hope you guys have um, you know, fortunes in your RNG and uh, chrono stone spending. Now, don't worry, Suzette. I won't cheat on you. Anyways, a little bit later in the chapter, uh, we do investigate and find a dream world master. And it seems we are helping uh, Lord Sharkingtons, and he is um, a character from part one, for those who didn't finish that yet. Um, his sister. At least that's what I believe him to, her to be. So uh, you can feel free to leave it in the comments below uh, if I am wrong, and you can correct me if needed. Now after all this, Iska, Claude, and her IDEA team meet with Hismina for debriefing and uh, they want to solve um, the dream world and the Forbidden Apples once and for all. Now about halfway through, we also unlock a new part of IDA, uh, which is the City East and Port Lazona. Now I will say, make sure you do talk and speak to all the NPCs, uh, you know, just like, um, you know, um, characters around town and around these new areas to enhance your story experience and um, you know for those who try to rush through it uh, even in towns and things um, you know if you do speak to them sometimes you get a little bit of uh, entertainment as well a little bit of um, you know um, enhancing the story there's also a few gems when you do talk to some of them uh, like uh, a reference to Starbucks in one conversation for example also, if you do talk to some of the other NPCs, we do get introduced to the idea of a game within a game where uh, you can enter as a student and I guess role play uh, like an RPG, kind of like what we're doing now. And there's also a dating aspect as well. And so both mechanics are the farming aspect of this particular side quest. And so um, I'm not sure at this moment uh, how far you have to do it in order to unlock those, but like most side quests, there are going to be four chapters, obviously, and hopefully by then we'll be able to access some of those um, areas. And, of course, Aldo does get shipped with his Mina. One of the uh, characters around town is also crushing on her as well. Frankly, I'm not surprised, of course. Finally, at the end of the chapter, uh, something happens to Aldo that uh, I wasn't expecting at all. So, you know... Um, if you haven't gotten to this stage and aren't able to play it yet, check out the end of the chapter and you can see, uh, you know, what happens to it. Anyways, at this point, like most storyline videos, I'm going to let you watch the rest of the video in peace. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Also, I do have a Patreon account for those who are interested in supporting me this way. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.